Hi, I'm Jake Archibald, one of the developer advocates on Google Chrome. The performance team here made an interesting discovery around uh, JavaScript-driven animations. Now, if you're driving an animation of JavaScript, you should be using Request Animation Frame. But one of the things you, you want to know is the current time, so you can compare it to the previous time and decide what state your animation should be in. Request Animation Frame passes in uh, a timestamp based off uh, performance.now, uh, whereas pre previous specs said it was going to be as similar to date.now. Because of that difference, people aren't really using this, this value, they're, they're kind of fetching their own so they can rely on what that value is. And there's a few different ways of doing that. So we're going to look at uh, date.now, but also people are doing this uh, plus new dates, which is you're going to create a date object and then turn it into a number. So here's the difference between the two. I'm going to look at uh, Chrome's DevTools, I'm going to go to the timeline and look at what happens with memory. I'm going to set that recording and start the animation using date.now. Now, this animation is normally really smooth. What's causing the animation to have problems now is that I'm doing a full screen record. But we can see with memory, it kind of reaches a peak of about 3 megabytes over the course of 10 seconds and then uh, drops down. There's some kind of cleanup operation happens and we'll see that happen again now. But this uh, cleanup isn't happening within JavaScript. We can look here, there's layouts, there's paints, it's compositing the layers, and it's doing that for every frame. But there isn't uh, anything else blocking that. There's no garbage collection event. If we compare that to using plus new date, so I'm going to set recording again and start the animation. Things start off about the same, it's going to creep up to about 3 megabytes uh, and then drop down sooner rather than later, hopefully. Alright, there we go. But then something else starts happening, we get this small sawtooth uh, effect appearing. Let's have a look at what's happening there. So this is different to before, we get the same kind of frame by frame, recalculate, layout, uh, paint, composite. But here we get this garbage collection event. Now, in this case, that event isn't going to cause us a problem. Garbage collection events will block your JavaScript. Your JavaScript has to be paused while this happens. And here it's not so much of a problem because the, the animation is really, really simple. But in a more complex real-world animation, this garbage collection event could push your frame just over the time it needs to render at 60 frames a second. And that will cause you to skip a frame. And if you're running at 60 frames a second and then you miss a frame, that becomes really noticeable to the user. It's, uh, it, it's better to have a constant frame rate than to have a frame rate that, that misses a beat every now and then. And in a more complex animation, you'll be missing a beat here, here, and here. And the reason for this is the difference between the, the two methods of getting the time. So this is a static method. This is just going to return you a number. It's a primitive type. It's very easy to, to memory manage. Whereas this is actually two operations. The first one is new date, which is going to create you a new uh, date object, which is you know a fairly complex object. It's got methods of its own. It's got properties of its own. But then this plus here is going to uh, put it through a, a number operation. It's effectively going to convert that date into a number. And because that's two operations, this object is still lying around in memory. And then the garbage collector has to, at some point, pause JavaScript and go and collect up all of those data objects to prevent them just growing and growing in memory. Now, this is something that Chrome and other browsers should be optimizing for, but we're, we're not at the moment. So there is a ticket here uh, against V8, so, uh, which is just saying, look, we should, when we see dot new date, we should go, that's not what you really mean. You really mean date dot now, and, and we should, we'll get the, the memory benefits of that. But in the meantime, if you need to find out what the uh, timestamp is, especially in terms of animation, use date.now or performance.now rather than creating objects and converting them to a number.